Hello, are you all right? Yes, sir. Whereabouts are you? I'm in Gayton, in, on the Wirral. Right, OK, and you're all set? Yeah. That's a great picture of you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific picture. All right, here we go with the first video of the morning. We'll come back to you in just a moment. This one is Lou Graham, and it's called Just Between You and Me. I cover the half the band songs. This is a track from his second solo album, Long Hard Look. He was born in Rochester, New York. His parents weren't particularly pleased uh, with his interest in rock and roll, saying of his trumpet playing father, the heaviest my dad got was Bop. Uh, that being the case, they must have completely despaired when he started to play the drums at the age of eight. Uh, if you don't recall him with Foreigner, then you may remember Lost in the Shadows, which he sang on the Lost Boys movie soundtrack. So, Yvette. Ah, uh, no, then, what do I think? Um, I think the song is... Okay, um, it's very sort of the American sort of song, um, very similar to a lot of American oh, songs. You know. Shut <laughs> up! Um, I think. Get on with it. Shut up! <laughs> and I think uh, the video is boring. Okay. What about marks? Um, I will give the song three and the video two. Three and two. Terence has been saying, "Go on, slag it off, slag it off." So what is he going to say, Terence? Um. Actually, when I was growing up in America, Foreigner used to be one of my favorite groups. I know that's not, well, that's the truth. They used to be one of my favorite groups, but now that I've become older <laughs> and wiser, I don't like it. It's the, the video is okay, you know, and the song is okay. It's, it's one of those type of songs that you hear every week, um, that come out of America every week. And, and because it's so simple and unchallenging, and it'll probably be a big, massive hit. Okay, what are your marks? One for the video, not for the tune. One and naught. Only one point from Terence, OK? And Dougie? Well, I like Terence. I don't like this sort of stuff very much now at all. I used to like it when I was younger. But uh, these black and... Foolish. Yeah, young Younger foolish, yeah. These black and white videos are just getting so bland. You know, they're all doing black and white videos. And also this sort of bland American sound, using bland the second time. But I really don't like it at all. And this video, this boy-girl video, is just so insulting. I really hate it. Will that reflect in your marks? It will, yeah. I think I'll give one for the song and nothing for the video. One and nothing, OK. Right, let's see what, uh, what Liz does. Hello, Liz. Hi. Off you go. Well, I think it's excellent. You like it? Yeah, because I, I like disagree, rock and that's music. what we like to see, yeah? Yeah, I like rock music. Uh -huh. And I'm younger than now, on, seriously. And I think it's brilliant. Uh, the words are really clear, and I do agree there's a lot of songs like this about, and the video is very predictable, you know, but I think it's lovely. What are your marks? I'd give it five for the song and three for the video. Five and three, gone completely against the panel. Well done there. Yes, out on your own, that's good. That's what we like to see. Fifteen marks for, uh, for Lou Graham. Not the highest uh, score ever, I have to say. Let's move along now to Age of Chance, Higher Than Heaven. And Liz. Hi, I, I really like this one. I think he's got a really lovely voice, and I think he's really good looking, the singer. And I think the video is in a really sort of um, appropriate place, because mm -hmm. it sort of raises your hands to God. And I think it's lovely. Okay, and your score? <laughs> I'd give the song perhaps four, and the video four. Four and four. Mm. Eight from you. Thanks for the moment. Dougie. Yeah, I, I like this as well. I think this is good. Uh, it's a really good groove, and the song is really nice. It sounds really good. And the video looks pretty good as well. And the guy's got a great voice, like Liz said. So I'll give it four and four as well. OK, A marks. Thank you for that, Terence. Hey, now listen, sell all my stock. Sell high, be low, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm losing money here. Um, actually, I agree with Liz, is that her name? Yeah. The guy, I like his nose a lot. He has a great nose. <laughs> it's true, he has a great nose, yeah. Okay. Um, um, the video is quite nice. It makes me want to go on holiday. Um, Lung Pali or something like that, you know. Um, but I, I, the song is, the song's all right. I'll give it a three. I'll give the video a three. I'll give the video a four because I like the guy's nose. Okay, four and four. All right, brilliant. And one point for the nose. Hey, Vet. Well, <clears throat> Tez likes the nose. I like the girl's hair it's in there. It's familiar, Tez. Oh, well, you know. Tez. 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 Just get Tez. on with Sorry. it. Anyway, yes, I like the girl's hair in there, but I do agree, it is sort of like a... A brochure for a holiday away, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> and what's the score? Um, the score is four for the video and five for the song. Four and five. Yeah. 
nine from Yvette. That takes the score up to 36. Moving right along now to uh, the Marines. Here's their new single, Go, Go Now. Go, go now. Don't come back. You gotta know by now. And that is there. Sarah and Denny, and they met in 1988. They have a shared obsession of the music of Phil Spector, and from that moment, their bi biography also too discovers dis 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 dissolves into complete madness. Helen describes herself as a big wall of sound and says of the all-girl group idea, so immediate, pure, pleasure, front global fun. Uh, they say they refuse to be tied by the dour-faced, belt-tightening realism of the 80s, whatever all that might mean. Yeah. On to the phone now and um, Liz. Hi Liz. Hi. What do you reckon? Um, well the tune's quite catchy. I suppose you could dance to it but I think the mime is awful so that's in the beginning. Uh, the choreographer should be shot um, and uh, I think the video's really tacky especially the hearts and the flowers hanging from the ceiling. So I'd probably give the song three and the video one because she's got nice teeth. So we're voting for parts of the body this morning, OK, <laughs> fair enough. Thank you very much indeed. That four from Liz. Uh, have a nice Saturday, by the way, okay, and thanks okay. very much indeed for your comments. Well done. Yvette? Um, I agree with Liz. I think the video is very tacky with all the hearts and everything. I think the song is good. It's very, very catchy and it'll probably be a hit. So I give the video two and the song four. Two and four. OK, Terrence? Um, well, since they are a CBS recording act, <laughs> And since myself and, and Deacon Blue are CBS recording acts, they can't be all bad. Um, okay. I'm afraid I think you're going to have to just come straight out and vote for the band oh. and not the record company here. OK, well, I mean, you know, it's really difficult, Philip, because, you know, a lot of these bands are probably home watching and nobody really wants to slag off another band. And I don't get any vicarious pleasure from that. But the truth must be told, and I don't like it. I give the video one, and I'll give her teeth too. Oh dear, oh dear, and I'll oh give three. I'm not, I don't, I'm, honestly, I hate to do this, but it's the truth and I have to. You've got to be truthful, you have to be truthful. Who knows, your next video, they could be sitting here on this very this panel. A, I give the video a five. <laughs> it doesn't five. work, I'm afraid. <laughs> too late, Dougie. <laughs> well, I was interested that they're very, they're into Phil Spector in a big way, because I thought the, the chorus of the song was very sort of Spectre-ish. But they will never be the Ronettes, you know. It's not that great. It's quite a catchy song, but they're not really happening as far as I'm concerned. So you're out. My votes for the song, I'd give three and a video two. Three and two. All right, thank you for that. Let's have a look at the, uh, the final scoreboard here, and we can see that after all that. Lou Graham got 15, Age of Chance got 32. The winners, of course, this week, and the Marines, 18. Thank you very much indeed to our panel, and also thank you very much indeed to I Liz. We'll see you in the press conference in just a few moments. In a week where the BBC has been putting itself under the microscope, it's your BBC, it's your Radio 1, it's only right and proper, really, that we should now put 